okay so like that each and every irrespective of the all the domains are there in the data warehousing right the dj region there are openings will be the huge openings are there and also the providers also like that on each and every company it will be there not only some small company or big company irrespective of all the companies the project will be there data warehousing providers are there okay irrespective of the all the companies the providers are there okay so you don't worry about the uh, uh, future how it will be there all those thing so it will be there all the products all and each and every company it will be there okay clear guys any doubts here up to now oltp and olap next we'll go for the authors of data warehousing who is the founder of data warehousing okay who who is the founder of the data warehousing okay the ralph kimball and billy eman these two guys are invented by the data warehousing who is the ralph kimball and billy eman these two guys are the invented the data invented the data warehousing the founders of the data warehousing will be these two guys ralph kimball and billy eman so what this guy is suggested what this guy is suggested billy eman we can going to discuss so both are build the data warehousing only but the approaches will be different the ralph kimball is suggested a one approach and billy eman is suggested a one approach based on the requirement how you are getting the data from the your source data okay based on that they are going to follow the either ralph kimball or billy eman based on your project your company how you are getting the data based on that they are going to choose any one of the model approach they are going to choose and they are going to build the data warehousing project that could be either ralph kimball approach or billy eman approach okay so this ralph kimball is going to the suggested by the bottom up approach ralph kimball is a, given the approach will be bottom up approach billy eman is given the top down approach i am going to explain you what is bottom up what is the top down okay i am going to show show you the diagram so this is the ralph kimball and billy eman so bottom up approach is nothing but the whatever the data we are getting transactional data whatever the transactional data we are getting it will be in the categorizing format means for example you have the 200 stores are there 200 stores all the sales data they are going to store into one table and then they are going to send to the olap before loading to the data warehousing they want the oltp system itself they segregating the data okay they are segregating the data into same category of the data for example take the central central okay central shop so the central guy is ordered the some brands respect of the men's and women's and kids all the brands is going to po purchase order the who are the vendor stakeholder is going to given the products to central so he, he he himself is going to categorize the data so men is in one separate box women is a separate box and then kids is a separate box accessories a separate box okay then central you need to again do the segregation he directly is taking the men's floor this is the women's floor this is the kids floor the boxes and then you can you can keep in the their slots but one more approach is there whatever the raw data is there first all the raw data they are going to extract and then loading into the data warehousing after that they are going to segregate the data what is the men's data what is the women's data they are going to segregating here okay how you are getting the data from your source system based on that they are going to follow any one of the approach one is the bottom up approach one is the top down approach bottom up approach is so what are the subjects oriented is there right so before itself before loading to the data warehousing so your data getting the in the category subject matter 
in the subject wise you are getting the data that kind of model we call as a bottom up approach bottom up model okay but whatever the data is the raw data first we are extracting the raw data into data warehousing and then we are segregating the data into subject wise we are segre segregating the data into subject matter that is the top down approach but 70 to 80 per 70 percent of the companies are going to follow the this ralph kimball model only before loading the data into data warehousing so they have that they are getting the data from the sources will be the subject matter format they already segregated that data only we are getting the data 70% of the company 70% of the projects we they are going to follow the bottom up approach okay in the they already segregated the oldp data they are going to segregated and then they are going to load into the sending into the data warehousing so ralph that is the ralph kimball and billy eman guys one is the bottom up approach top down approach so bottom up approach is before loading into the data warehousing they are going to create the data marts we call it as a data mart the subject is nothing but the one data mart one subject is one data mart before they are creating the data marts and then loading into the data warehousing but in the billy eman model sir billy eman first raw data they are extracting and then loading into the data warehousing on top of the data warehousing they are going to create the data marts they are going to create the data marts so data mart is nothing but the one subject is nothing but the one data mart one subject we call as a one data mart the sales is one subject so that is a one data mart hr is a one subject that is a one data mart and the employee is a one subject that is a one data mart like that okay data mart is nothing but the focusing on a single subject focusing on a single subject is nothing but the one data mart clear guys that i am going to explain in the next what is data mart what type of data marts are there okay as of now data mart is nothing but the one subject so the bottom up approach follow the before loading into the data warehousing they are going to create the data mart and then loading into the data warehousing but top down approach says first raw data is loading into the data warehousing and on top of the data warehousing they are going to create the data marts okay clear guys that is the ralph kimball and billy eman they suggested the their approaches clear guys any doubts here so build the business process for enter small data no, which are joined to each other using the common dimensions between the business process so before that they are going to small data marts means whatever the data is there they are segregating the here before loading into the data warehousing but here one centralized data warehouse which will act as a enterprise enterprise wide data warehousing means all the data they are extracting and then loading into the data warehousing first raw data whatever the raw data is there all the raw data they are extracting and then loading ingestion into the data warehouse and then they build the data marts as per the need as per the business logic is going to build the data marts okay that approach we called as a top down approach before going to load the data before going to create the data marts and then loading into the data warehousing that approach we called as a bottom up approach okay data marts should be built on dimension modeling approach central data warehousing to follow the year model correct right this is a year model so whatever the year will be oldp data will follow the year model just now i explained so year model is going to follow oldp is follow the year model okay now whatever the data they are extracting the same data is loading into the data warehousing means here it will be their year model data is there on top of the year model they are going to generating the dimension model okay 
here will be uh, the oldp data year model is going to convert into the data dimension model and then it's loading into the data warehouse okay so that is the authors of the data warehousing one is the ralph kimball and billy iman these two guys are invented by the data warehousing both are suggested in the different ways one is the bottom up approach one is the top down approach so based on the data how you are getting the data from the your client based on that they are going to build the they are going to choose the any one of the approach either bottom up or top down but in the 70% of the companies is going to follow the ralph kimball only means they are getting the data before itself they are segregating the data they are getting the clients getting the clients providing the data in the this format okay any doubts here any doubts here up to now so i'm going to share you guys questions so interview point of view questions whatever they are going to ask okay that questions i'm going to give so you people have to prepare the answers for the whatever the day is completed based on that you have to prepare your answers guys okay so what is data warehousing we discussed till now what is data mart I'm again one, one more time i'm going to explain data mart is nothing but the single subject area it is going to focus on a single functional area is nothing but that one data mart so ods i'm going to explain so difference between the data warehouse and data mart difference between the oltp and olap okay so which of the topics we are going to complete it please prepare the answers for this one Yeah. <laughs>